When a farmer plants a tiny corn seed, he ends up with millions of corn kernels. You know, in the same way, when you sow seed into God's kingdom, he will multiply your seed into a harvest far greater than the original seed that you sowed. It's the same in the spiritual world as it is in the natural. God will take the uncommon seeds that you sow. He'll use them to create his uncommon harvest in your life. You may feel like you don't have too much to bring to God, but remember a shepherd boy brought his sling. A little boy brought his lunch. A widow brought her might. They offered to God what they had, and it was enough. In fact, it was more than enough because of their faith and obedience. God honored their small seeds and created great harvests that brought huge blessings. So let me ask you today, what seeds are you holding in your hand today? Do they seem small? Do they seem insignificant? But just as he did with a little shepherd boy and a widow, when you release the seed that's in your hands, God releases the harvest that's in his hand. A slingshot killed a giant. Two loaves and five fish fed a multitude. A small offering has reached across the centuries to impact millions in the body of Christ. So if what you're holding on in your hand today seems small, seems so insignificant to be your harvest, then make it your seed and make it count. You see, when you're afraid, when you're afraid that you don't have enough, what's the tendency? The tendency is to hold on, to hoard, to grasp tightly what you do have. Why? Because we're afraid that if we let go of the little bit we do have, we're going to end up with nothing. But in God's economy, the opposite is true. God takes the little, even the small that we give to him. He blesses it. He multiplies it. And he gives it back to us in the form of an uncommon harvest. Keep in mind that seed faith is sowing something that God's given you in order to receive something that he's promised. A small seed, a small seed that you sow in faith can produce a huge harvest in someone's life in the kingdom of God. My friend, God is never trying to get something from you. He's always trying to get something to you. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He created the entire universe. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's. He doesn't need your seed. What is it that you need? You need to sow your seed because it's in giving that you receive. It's God's law of reciprocity. If you need love, sow love. If you need patience, be patient. If you need kindness, sow kindness. If you need money, sow financial seeds. So I ask you, what seeds has God given you to sow today? I encourage you, with God's help, make a seed list of the time, the talent, the treasures that he's placed in your hands, in your life. Don't worry about the size of your seeds. Just write them down. You may not have a lot of time. You may not have a lot of patience today. You may not have a lot of money today. Begin to make a list of the things you do have and begin to sow seeds into the lives of others, into the kingdom of God, into churches, into ministries, into places that God can take your seed and multiply it into good ground. Then I want you to pray over this list of seeds that God's given you and ask the Lord to give you the desire, the opportunity, the courage to faithfully sow your uncommon seeds and to believe him by faith with expectation for an uncommon harvest. Ask him to take your small seeds and multiply them into a great harvest for his kingdom and as a personal harvest in your life. Zechariah 4.10 encourages us not to despise the day of small beginnings. So even if what you're giving to God seems small in your own eyes, be willing to sow those seeds, humble seeds of your time, your talent, your treasure, sow them back into his kingdom. God knows how much or how little you have, but he knows your willingness to trust and obey him is what draws his attention to you, is what draws his attention to the seed that you sow. Let me pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you love us and you love to bless us with uncommon harvests. And I trust that what's meaningful to us will become meaningful to you. Give everyone watching right now the confidence to sow uncommon seeds into your kingdom. That costs them something. 
regardless of their size, take and multiply their seeds into great harvests that further your kingdom and meet their every need. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to continue tomorrow with one of the most important keys to unlocking God's blessing for your life. Don't miss it.